Right, so last time we created a field and added it to the workflow, and this time we're going to create a bizarre package out of this. Now, I've actually added a different field because I lost the work I'd done earlier. So if we have a look in the workflow, we have this, um, this field called test field that I've put in, which is just a text field. Um, so the first thing to do, as last time we created one, is to create a new bizarre package. I actually have no network, so I'm not sure what's going to happen here. I have a very slow network. Uh, and we're going to call this uh, test new field and create that. And it's by me. And this is a test new field, description, adding a new field to the workflow. Version 0.1. Uh, we'll come back to control screen. We're going to have to make one because we need the screen plugin to modify the workflow. And for now, we'll save and return that. So going onto the command line, uh, we have this phrase file called z local field as last time. And what we're going to do is we're going to move that into lib. And what was the name of the thing? Testing field. Uh, and that moves to eprints root lib lang em phrases. Now you have to be a bit careful because these phrases will affect every repository installed on your server. Um, phrases, and we're going to call it um, test field.xml. Uh, we're going to name it the same thing that the, the package is named. And then we're going to go into the EPM. And we have this, this directory that's been created. And we're going to go in config, config.d, and we're going to copy the field definition into here. So it's user share eprints archives for house local field and we're going to copy it to here and we're going to call it Z underscore. It's important to use uh, a Z at the start so it gets loaded after all of the normal configuration uh, because you'll be possibly overriding stuff uh, and we're going to call that test new field PL. So those are the two package uh, 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 the, the two configuration files in the package. We also have to handle the workflow. Now, that's done using an EP, uh, e, uh, a plugin, which needs to go in lib. And to, to get an example of that, there's actually a really good one on the Agro Ontology ePrints Bazaar package, which I have here. I'll pop this open. This will download. Uh, pad, okay, so this is a good example. I, I had a look at this earlier, of uh, of a plugin. We have the plugin creation. So this is this is all just boilerplate. We'll need to change that. Um, and then we have these. The key functions are the uh, the action enable, which will enable the plugin, and action disable, which will disable. And these will happen when you click on the enable and the disable buttons in the uh, in the workflow. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. Actually, we may as well just W get it. Uh, copy the location. P plugins prints. Again, screen EPMC. So this will download that again. I'm actually here with Alan, who's connected. He connected my uh, his phone, and I'm using that as a as a, as a hotspot, which is why it's running very slowly. I'm going 
going to move this to don't want me to test new field PM. Let's make it a bit more readable. So Disable, self package name. I believe that's the internal name. Um, yeah, I don't think you can have spaces in that. We don't need to do anything to the database, but we do need to add some XML and we need to. Move the XML as well. Um, the workflow file function will return the file. This is used to say which file to add to XML and to remove from XML. And this add to XML function, what it will do is it will kind of merge two XML files. So here's what's being added here. We're adding a new stage to the workflow, and we're adding a single field to this to this to this new stage and adding and having a having a um, a bizarre package create a new stage and and that belong to the bizarre package is a really good way of making sure that bizarre packages don't interfere with each other so the new field is going to be test new field and test new field uh, in the test new field stage we're going to have the test new field field. So now that we've got that in lib, we can go back to the bazaar. And we need to add this. And the control screen, this is when we see the, the, the control screen, it is this uh, plugin, and that's what will be used to control the turning on and off of this. So if we say, if we up, up, up the version number every time we make a change, save and return this. Now there will be some phrases missing, I believe. Uh, because there'll be a new stage of the workflow. So we're going to have to manage that. But what we'll do is we will see if we can... Oh, before we do that, we need to get rid of the field from the workflow because it was in there explicitly. Um, we added it previously in the last video. So let's get rid of that. And for the plugin to show up at the web front end, we're going to need to restart the web server. So now it's aware of everything. And I should be able to enable this. So if I click on enable, fingers crossed. And then we go back to manage deposits. If we edit this item, we've got this New stage added to the workflow. Um, unload field reference, test new field. Ah, that's because it's because of the way it's done. It hasn't reloaded the configuration for some reason. Um, if we restart the web server, then that will go away. But we'll test this further in a bit. Test new field. Ah, maybe it was called New test field, have I got the name wrong? I believe I've got the name wrong. Simple test field is the name of the file. Let's go back and disable this. Remove it from the workflow and 
we'll go and modify Restart the web server so that the the plugin gets reloaded. Then we'll re-enable this. So there we go. We've got test field, and the the phrase that's missing is meta page title testing field. So we'll go and add that to our phrase file. Yeah, still the easiest way to do it, I think, is uh, test field from, let's just call it test field, is uh, to then just copy it into the phrase file. Delete it from there. We will paste it into here. So we've copied that from the web config file into our uh, uh, file in lib. Go back to admin. And we're going to have to edit our, because we've updated one of the files, the checksums will be off. So we're going to need to edit this. Up, up the version to version 0.3 is a good idea because we've made a change. And then we save and return it. So what I'll do is I'll publish this now to the Prince Bazaar. And what I'll do is I will roll back my virtual machine to a previous snapshot, which was just a fresh install of ePrints, and I should be able to verify this by uh, doing an install from the bazaar. So let's just do that. Uh, I need to first stop the VM. Roll back to this. I will create a snapshot of the current machine, which is so our package is working, we hope. Um, and then let's start this machine up. Um, so here we are, we have a, a fresh ePrints install without much done to it. We have no, what if I create a new item and go to the detail stage, we have the standard workflow, we don't have this extra stage, and then Bazaar, connecting to the bazaar. I should be able to just install this and have it work. And let's search for test new field. So we'll install that. And now if I manage my deposit, I can see 
hopefully, now let's edit the one I've got before. Oh. I'm not quite sure how that's happened, but the lib file didn't get updated. Um, so I've rolled back to the previous state and I've figured out what went wrong. What went wrong is that the files that were required, there are two files that are required weren't added. I wonder how many of you spotted that as I was moving through this. There's a phrase file and there's a config.d file. The config.d file defines the, uh, the field. The phrase file contains the phrases. So, oh, I've actually, it actually has taken me a few versions, so I'm actually on 0.0.6 now. I'm going to save that one, publish it. And hopefully, let's roll back and check that this is uh, yes. Check check that it is working on the fresh repository. I made open repositories at this um, the venue for the uh, developer challenge. I was trying to get this done before, but now people are starting to turn up. So I hope nobody interrupts me. But let's restore to. Let's hope nobody interrupts while I get this just quickly finished. So if we start, we can. Just very quickly, hopefully, verify that it's all working now. So, it's bizarre. Test new field, install that. And now, if I manage deposits, create a new item, we have test field, and we have our field. We have the help text in there, so that's done.